All right, YouTube, what is going on, guys? How are you guys doing? David Hammond, beautiful Mother Nature. The leaves are starting to really change now. This beautiful fall color is starting to come in. Kind of a, a hint for a future video. But anyways, guys, we are doing a vlog tutorial, vlog tutorial on landscape videography. So, as a bit of context, I am here at Hilton Fall, Milton Hilton Falls, but an hour away from my house. I've been here before with you guys in a vlog. If I can find that, I'll link that uh, above. And they got these sick little waterfalls, a nice little lake, just a beautiful little like area, a conservation area. And uh, it's gonna be dope, so I'll update you guys when we get to the falls. About a 10 minute walk, see you then. And all right, we've made it about 10, 15 minute walk later. I'm hoping it's not too busy, they work, hmm, there were a few people coming, but um, we're about to find out. I don't even know if it's gonna be rushing or flowing. All right, the reveal. Oh God, <laughs> I can understand why not a lot of people are here. Yeah, so it's not crazy flowing. Like we're gonna work with it. We're gonna get landscape videography. We're gonna do the video, the photos, 100%. It's not crazy flowing, but I kind of had a feeling it wouldn't be considering it's kind of dry in the air now. Um, That's kind of it. <laughs> which isn't bad. I'll put up like a photo of uh, the time I came in the winter when the snow was all beginning to melt. Looks a lot better. But with that said guys, let's now get a video B-roll clip and then go over all the tips, tricks, everything you can afterwards. So, enjoy. And all right guys, that was the B-roll clip. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, before we get on with the tips and the tricks, um, so I got some self-portraits of me as that's what I do as well, put those up on screen. And what was funny is that there was like a little couple, I think they were just like smoking or something. So <laughs> the whole time I was getting self-portraits, so for you guys that don't know, you set up the tripod and then you pose basically, right? They were just watching me the whole time. They were like 10 feet away and it was so awkward. But, um, you know, I figured I'm never going to see you guys again. Screw it. Did it. Put them up on screen. Pretty stoked on them. Now, guys, as you saw that B-roll clip, we're actually heading to another spot. It's like a small little pond lake where I'm going to do the second B-roll clip. But as we walk there, I think it's like a 10-minute 10, 10 walk. I haven't been here in a while. Um, we'll overlay the tips and the tricks with uh, the video, okay? All right, guys. So tip number one with landscape videography is story, okay? Figure out what your story is. Now, because I've been here before, I knew that the whole, I knew what the landscape looked like. I knew there was a little waterfall, little streams. So in my mind, I already had a vision of what it was going to look like. Um, with landscape, the beautiful thing with that is you don't need any people. You really don't need any wildlife. It's just the landscape. But in that, right? Now, now that we have the landscape in that, you got to delve even deeper. What are the main elements that you're going to shoot? So for me, it was that waterfall, obviously, because that was really the main thing there. But what's your main element, right? So maybe you're at a bluff, maybe like a little mountain. Of the landscape, of everything around, your main element, like the main story, the main figure is that mountain, right? So the majority of shots are somewhat going to relate to that mountain, whether they're up close to that mountain, far back, maybe a drone shot of it. You're showing what that is. Now with landscape, you can have more than one. Um, main focal point but to keep things simple at the beginning i would strongly recommend just to stick to one okay 
Now, the second tip, now that we have our story, we knew it was the waterfall, right, of the landscape. So I was gonna have every shot, for the most part, based around that waterfall, adding to that waterfall. So the second point brings me to types of shots, right? The types of shots are all gonna contribute to that story. So I was using shots that were wide, that were close, that were tall, that were high, that were low, really to emphasize and show off that waterfall being the story. You see how it all comes back to the story of the waterfall? That's my main focus point. That's just what I told you guys, right? So I was using my wide angle lens for the reveal shots, really up close macro shots. So if you guys want to get a lens with a low aperture, maybe a higher focal length. I hope I know where I'm going. Um, I think so. A higher focal length. So maybe I had a 50 millimeter, which is equivalent to 80 millimeters. You really, you decide what you want to do, but every shot, every angle, everything you have to remember is either adding to that story of that waterfall being the landscape or taking away from it. That's really how you got to switch your mind to with videography. Every shot is either adding to this or taking it away. So you're going to be much more selective with your shots and careful with uh, really putting them in. Oh yes, 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 we've made it. Oh yeah, I'm actually surprised it was like, it was right here. I knew they had like a big, uh, a big lake or like reservoir, whatever they want to call it. It's right here. Oh, super stoked. This is where I'm going to get out the drone now. I'll give you guys a little sneak peek. Oh, this will be nice. We got the stream going on to that nice looking pond or lake, whatever you want to call it. So let's get a higher vantage point and then get that video or b-roll clip going. All right, so I've taken a look at this uh, lake or pond, whatever we're going to call it. Now for this b-roll clip or landscape video clip, guys, I'm just going to use my drone, okay? Now I know a lot of you guys may not have a drone, but for those that do have a drone or even that don't, I'm going to kind of explain why a drone and how it all relates to the points I just said. So with the drone, guys. It is so, a drone, if you're doing landscape videography or photography, a drone is your best, best friend. So if any of you guys are starting to get into landscape, I would strongly recommend, if not now, down the road, invest into a drone. And that's because drones just offer this huge spectrum that we wouldn't be able to get. Like you can see I'm on this little cliff, right? So I'm right here and I've got, I've got a decent view, but the drone can get everything. There's no way I can just jump up and, and see that, right? So the drone helps me with that. So enough talking, let's get this landscape video clip and I'll explain more afterwards. We have greetings over Kansas that were very pleasant today. However, we are looking for a new front to begin to drift south and eastward. The central and eastern parts of Kansas will very probably be cloudy in the morning and then western Kansas will begin to get increasing cloudiness by tomorrow afternoon. Today, however, a very, very pleasant reading. 73 up in the Goodland area, 72 at Garden City, 70 reported by Dodge City and Liberal, 72 two, two over by the good folks of Guam. And guys, that was the landscape video B-roll clip. It is quite a bit later now. It is 6.15, the sun sets in 15 minutes. Rev the drone up, actually pretty much drained two batteries. One just for video, one for photos. I'll put up the photos that I got right here just before we start talking about the video uh, tips. Now guys, for the drone tips, just like I said before, number one, story. That was of this big ponds, and really what I was actually really happy about is uh, the leaves. I didn't, I didn't think they were that orange. I could really see from an aerial view. So the pond, the leaves, the whole atmosphere, kind of just like a cold fall day. Every shot revolved around that. So you saw the high, high shots, really the establishing shots, showing the lake, showing the leaves, and then I got down low, show more of a texture. So I was right, right over the, uh, this waterfall here, right over the lake, right on the rocks, um, right over the leaves of the, uh, the trees. 
and that's it's, it's really that simple now again I know some of you guys don't have a drone but I would strongly recommend it and uh, even if you don't I want to finish it on this if you don't have a drone do not worry just apply these exact tips story shots right stories number one use shots so guys we're now heading back to the car about a 10 15 minute walk and I want to wrap up this whole video right here um, by saying that landscape videography is such an amazing thing if you guys I feel like a lot of you guys are maybe into landscape photography and want to start doing video then I would 100% recommend it I hope some of these tips and tricks could help um, and even if you're not into landscape videography it's such a great thing because and I, I enjoy it so much because you don't need anyone except yourself like you don't have to rely on anyone it's just you and nature the landscape which whatever you find but that's it guys I want to finish it off here I hope that helped I hope you guys gained any tips or tricks anything from this I will make more videos like this um, comment down below if I didn't explain something you know properly or you have a question and like the video if you guys dig it so that's it if you guys are new here my name is David I do videos all on outdoor photography videography my lifestyle and I would love to have you guys as part of the fam so that's it it's getting cold and gloomy Gee! I'll see you guys in the next one till then much love peace